Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. 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 New. 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 <laughs> 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 Today is February 4th, 2022. It is 4 a.m. I just did video one regarding better up with Prince Harry and Serena William. So these are some tweets that I had left because yesterday, February 3rd, I didn't record anything. But I had left these for me to do yesterday, but I didn't record anything. So let's go on Twitter and check them out. from video one let's see what is that okay so this is Bozier. okay not today maybe next time all right what is this about i forgot okay hello twitter is requiring by germany law to provide notice users who are reported by people from germany via network all right so they pretty much uh <laughs> the haters or how do you call this or uh reporting Bozier. For the things uh i guess buzi is f calling them out or finding they are the trolls so they're reporting buzi and then um this is what uh, twitter had sent uh, buzi okay so this is the thing that uh, buzi had 
posted or tweeted, uh, the black women in my life are about to make Yankee Wally go through some things. This is what happened when you listen to Anthony Mark Weston and go with a Hail Mary. All right. So we have investigated the reported content and have found that it is not subject to removal under the Twitter rules. Okay. I think I have that, that tweet next. All right. Let's see here. I do Twitter rules, the reporting system. It actually looks into it where as in TikTok, they just immediately take it down. I imagine this is why they're living on TikTok more now. Okay. So they're doing some, not see, I'm not on TikTok. All right. Well, they're current. I'll give them that. Okay. How many of these you find German Twitter notice are you up to now? Okay. If I was working for Twitter support and was dealing with those Karen's requests, I might have replied to those lots. Just leave Twitter and for you. I'm telling you. Uh, let's see here on real love to know how the heckler at Megan's New York City shower was tied into this. Okay. They tried it seriously. All right. So this is that. But it's cool for Black Panther, welcome before ever. Okay, why is blurry the weird? All right, let's see here. Let's go to the next tweet. All right, so let's see here. This is the tweet that uh, they report on, uh, how do you call this? On Buzzy. This is what he had put. Okay, the black women in my life are about to make Yankee Wally go through some things. This is what happened when you listen to Anthony, Mark Weston, and go with Hail Mary. Uh, why I'll take who F around and is about to find out for 200 pounds, please. That's one army. You don't want beating the drum on your asses, you big dummy. Okay. All hell about to break loose. Okay. I'm here for this. I've waited so long for this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The, the people on, on Twitter are crazy. Okay. I can't wait to watch it on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, show up for a good seat and holding the cooler full of snacks. And this is the happy to hold any bags and item. There was some stuff that I came across. I don't know if I share them. Where, uh, what is it? Uh, Bazir. Let me go on his thing. Bazir uh, saw uh, who was uh, doing all of the stuff. Let's see here. Let me, let me make this video about him. Okay, three hours ago. All right, what is this now? I have spent the uh, past 48 hours putting a file together for the Metropolitan Police. Interesting, while working on the file, something reliable source told me made much more sense tonight. We okay, we found connection we overlooked and Yankee Wally is a lot more sinister than people realize. Oh my God, that's a threat. Okay, I didn't even see this. I'm seeing this right now as I'm uh, sharing that with you. All right, so let's go to some of his things to share with you because uh, <laughs> I've been away from the computer. All right. The people who have followed me a long time now, I don't exaggerate and I don't tweet random nonsense. So when I say Yankee Wally is one of the most criminals we have come across while researching uh, targeted attack and disinformation, you will know I'm not exaggerating. Okay, there will be lawsuits, criminal charges, books written, documentaries made, and social media platform will have to rethink how they moderate coordinate activity. Ironically, if Yankee didn't escalate her attack on my family, we will have missed this connection. Wow. It, it, it is a, appalling. It is appalling what my family has had to endure because of my work. But I take snaps and the fact my family sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Doing my best Adam Schiff impersonation, <laughs> you got caught. Okay, so he finds some stuff out. All right, so there's some comments here. Uh, don't even think of using British police solely. They are the devil, entirely corrupt, and bought and paid for by that rotten car crash family. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this will be the Netflix documentary. Chris, you better decide who's going to play you in the movie. It's gonna go from, from dark to movie, documentary to movie, and a heartbeat. Save this tweet. Okay, I totally agree. If I said it once and I said a thousand times, this is a binge watch Netflix series for sure. Seriously though, this actually scares me. Reading this thread make me feel like the first time I saw <laughs> Exorcist, this wily person. Oh my goodness. Wow, Christopher, you are a man with tenacity. Uh, this Yankee Wally, whoever is, need to be stopped. But please, a word of caution. Don't just 
<laughs> there's people saying don't trust only med police with this case get the u.s fbi squad on this too we all know the uk metropolitan police and the moment is operating with kp orders that is true that is true okay she works selling women nothing she does shock me after learning that yeah, okay don't tell me there's a link with uh, prince andrew and pedophilia oh my goodness can you imagine this yeah because she was a, a a brothel owner or something like that based on what buzi had said wow nothing surprises me anymore with those criminals okay i really hate that you and your family had to come and contact with that toxic troll it's hard thing to just admit that some people are evil and she appears to be one of them and the thing is that they it, it's out of uh how do you call this a uh, random tweet that uh, he did and then they went after him because of his support for uh, the Sussexes. It's to that. All right. So there's more comment. Let me step out of this and then um, uh, how do you call this? And see what else did he tweet about. All right. I just went on that. And there's this here. Yesterday, okay, says Truth filed a motion to dismiss the default judgment against him, citing section 230 and the new evidence. I think we all know this will end in tears. Okay, what is that? What is that? Okay, let's see here. Please take notice that on a date and time set by the court or as soon thereafter as proposed defendant get the U.S. may be heard, Jason Goodman, poor Sir Goodman, shall move before this honorable court pursuant to federal rule of civil procedure 12B6 for an order dismissing with prejudice plaintiff's complaint for failure to state a valid claim on which relief can be granted because of communication decency act 47 us okay these are things i should look up but i'm just sharing this thing with you I don't know from my last tweet regarding Buzzy. There was some stuff, or did I share them with you? Or did I just read it to myself and then share them with you? Uh, he find out who the wacky, someone who creates different businesses and he's somewhere overseas and some crap. And then he find who the person is and then he's going to call them to court. So maybe he already filed it and now they're saying they need to dismiss it. This is what I'm getting here. Okay. Uh, Communication Decency Act 47 USC 230 protects operators of interactive computer services like Defendant Multimedia System Design Inc. from the claim asserted against it and because plaintiff violated New York judicial law okay jud 487 and engage in deliberate deceit of the court to bring about this action newly discovered evidence as of January 24th, 2022, and extraordinary circumstances have prevented this evidence from being presented previously. Please take further notice that in support of this motion, Goodman shall rely upon the attached memorandum of law. Okay. So they find new things about him. Oh my goodness. Show replies. What are the, to be, uh, to be honest, not quite sure what this means for him. 
Okay, we've seen it before. He is using the same tactic as tabloid. Megan took to court and won in the UK. They always citing new evidence, but in reality, it's just fluff about irrelevant stuff about the victim just to create more noise. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I will have to read each of the section he mentioned for me to find what these laws are. Okay, let's see here. <music> Like I said, I will have to, he mentioned for me to find, read each of the section. There's another tweet. Okay. Let's see here. And what these laws are. He mentioned for me to find, like I said, I will have to. And engage and. Okay. Let's see here. There's another tweet. Read each of the section. engage and like I said I will have to he mentioned for me to find what these laws are and what these laws are he mentioned for me to find like I said, I will have to and engage and and what these laws are. read each of the section there's another tweet okay let's see here engage and like I said I will have to he mentioned for me to find there's another tweet okay let's see here 44 minutes so this is brand new this is brand new he just tweeted that 44 minutes ago I look forward to the day when accordance to Taz act surprised and try to distance herself from Yankee Wally crim criminality as she did with EMZ don't let her get away with the, her character Taz is complicit oh my goodness they mess with the wrong person because this guy is a computer whiz and he knows what's up let's see here can you please check this one for me Okay, according to according to Taz. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Okay, that's um, Buzi's tweet again two hours ago. She should have taken my advice. Okay, what is that? Imagine sitting on the on information that could ultimately prove your life, but apt to remain loyal to people who have snitched on you. I believe in loyalty, but why stay loyal to people who aren't loyal to you? When text messages and DMs start leaking, then it will be too late. Okay, that was November 18, 2021. That's when he tweeted that. And then that's him tweeted again. Whistleblowers get book deals and paid appearances. How much longer do you think you can profit from hating one person? Eventually people will get bored and move on. Then what? Just saying. So he's, he's telling them a, a lot of warning shots. Let's see here. There's a reason why we call them derangers. Okay, caviar are not for donkeys. <laughs> that's the first time I see this. What the hell is that now? All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, three hours ago. Oh my God, he's been tweeting. Let's see this one now. 
okay so he added to it so is that the th is that a thread okay i have spent the past 48 hours putting file together metropolitan okay that's this one i read that okay the people who have followed me okay i also read that so this is new here there will be lawsuit criminal charges book written documentaries made on social media platform will have to be thank her the moderate coordinate activities ironically if yankee then escalate her attack on my family we will have missed disconnection so i read that also it is appalling that what my family had to endure because of my work but i take so and the fact that my family sacrifice wasn't for nothing uh doing my best adam Schiff and personnel okay i just read that also uh please copy and the relevant u.s authorities and anything you sent to med police you do an extraordinary work if people don't trust the med police and right now the uk is going to some stuff all right because as uh, bojo's things start cracking up people are leaving uh they uh yeah so things might be slightly different but let's see here it honestly sound hyperbolic but i trust that you are a reasonable person i'm interesting and knowing more in due time keep steady at the wheel my friend i'm telling you they should have just leave him alone i really hope it's a connection to pierce morgan so he can go straight to jail do not pass a go or collect 200 dollars uh, all right let's see here what else nine hours ago do pentalemon's father was a retired cop okay this one i saw last night and he passed away in 2021 you will think the son of a former cop will know better than to harass people on the internet and spread falsehood sometimes they even worse because they've been getting away with so many things but uh sometimes everything must come to an end all right let's see what some of the comments said okay think of all those cops and their sons who stormed the capital on january 6th they are actually bad cops <laughs> that's true that's what i said most of them are suffering from some pains they are mental issues they think that bringing others down gonna help them feel better okay that's sotaki and trailer trashy i've worked uh in an industry where i said this happened often when parents or grandparents died the children or grandchildren will take the aliases and pictures of their deceased relative to restart their lives it always ended with legal action oh my goodness okay i have to admit i'm very impressed then take law enforcement to find a credible threat then submit a subpoena and get twitter to trace this account to their location surprise you are sharing their real names well done your teams of lawyers and law enforcement have worked hard i mean this is what he does okay then take long what a horrible horrible son what a stain i mean at the same time Buzi should be very careful too Okay, what a stand on his father's memory. All I can say is that I'm going to jail is a great way to put his father's soul to rest. Next, oh my God. Next, we will hear that he pissed away. Okay, he pissed away his father's inheritance by hating on people. Okay, let's go back. Uh, okay, there's more comment, but let me go back to some of Buzi's more tweets. Okay, Anthony is paid to lie and his followers are too naive to see they are being connected, telling people th the verified G-E-T-T-R moderation team account is fake is next level gaslighting. So if he will lie about something that can be easily verified, think about what else he lies about. Okay, what is that now? great catch yes it is fake account oh my goodness okay anyone taking a quick look at the mad director account that magically follow Buzi? new description about at mention to troll bully really not what you will expect from a real account seems to confirm my initial thought it's fake what is all this okay christopher Buzi, california conservative troll tagging the act of re repetitive mention to hovas humiliate okay too many nonsense i don't know what they mean but okay what else did he tweet about oh she can oh my god 10 hours ago oh my god buzi is on a mission now the first photo was from 20 plus years ago and the second photo is from a few years ago they are father and son he created the fake g-e-t-t-r account using his father's photo who does that what the first photo was from 20 years ago and the second okay so where is that new profile so he he took the father's picture to do the thing that's from february 21 
Why would he do that? And this is more recent. Wow. Well, if Buzi is showing it, it's already online. So Buzi is not, uh, how do you call this, uh, doing anything illegal because they are online. So these are the two pictures. Why would you do that? It, damn, he has the same smile as the father. Wow. Okay, Adam Bryant Meld. LGBTQ here and not by my own will but because of horrible people using my image what the hell is that Sydney Melbourne okay 2022 that's recent he just created that oh my goodness okay he hid his father sound like it or better yet he doesn't believe that his father is alive and so an invisible ghost what in the hell is this okay so he does live in Australia the online safety act has just come into effect here. It's a world first in that. It holds the platform accountable and forces them to unmask trolls, etc. I will be looking into what exactly this means and whether it can be used here. Interesting. All right, I'm learning something here, weirdo. That pig never passed the smell test. Okay, is that a recent pick of him based on the focus and claw? Maybe the 90s. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. When you first showed that pig didn't he make up this crazy story about you harassing a total stranger and that the person filed police complaint about you falsely accused them of being the duke these people are sick okay i remember that so i i missed this part here okay on valentine's day is that okay so there's more comment here let me read let me see what else boozy i'm just keeping up okay with what boozy says Okay, the old photo of Anthony tweeted of the man with sunglasses and Sydney is actually his father. Then he create a Adam Bryant persona and use his father's photo who does that. Okay, there's another tweet here. Their lie is falling apart and they are desperate to find a new narrative that doesn't contradict the first narrative. Yankee Wally should have just stuck to what she knows, but she went for the Hail Mary and now it's backfiring my goodness so this is here 2009 who is that anthony weston london england oh my god how the hell did he find all of this okay oopsie thanks again for letting us know our investigation found this account violated the twitter acts growth source true violating the rule against abuse and harassment we appreciate your help and improving everyone's experience on twitter you can learn more about reporting abusive behavior okay so uh, Bazir responded to that he has been suspended for a week and he is crying about it okay anthony you have no clue how much trouble you are in okay so what is that now Okay, I keep seeing all my posts about the abuse all over the internet. That stain is never going to wash off, off of him. Okay, what the hell is this now? Okay, I, once I reach certain time, I'm going to stop this video because I'm going through Buzi's things here. Okay, Lord, they race fishing, now gender fishing. Hang on, royalty. I thought that was a lady. This is so crazy beyond imagination. Unfortunately, there is another one who will all think is Victoria Arbiter really okay let's see here will that be victoria uh, a b as a boy okay boy <laughs> oh my god was it ever funny to see joshua and archie video on the royal expert getting punked prior to the open interview okay they were told to respond as if the O interview and look foolish reporting on it all right so that's the the video where the reporters were lying about the the open interview when they didn't even see it okay since that interview she has never been the same and i love that for her she blacked uh, she doesn't want to be reminded of this <laughs> uh, she really came across as a ridiculous clown she was able to fool herself that she was a real royal expert and that video was like total pulling the curtain of the mighty Oz and uh, showing beyond a doubt that they are all fake but worse is that we were able to laugh at them okay he's showing face this speaks of a man who knows he's on for a shit storm he may be using laughing emojis but he's shitting bricks behind that screen of his i mean 
at some point the thing has to return because if you're having so much fun on putting someone miserable life miserable at some time you have to taste your own medicine my goodness okay kate middleton 40th birthday photo shoot will always be associated with this agent of racist and kate yikes Okay, I don't, I don't follow a lot of people, so I don't know. What is this? Find out. Okay, F or round, find out. I see you can see the gap is now a ring. <laughs> okay, a guy, let me guess, a trumpet. What? <laughs> Those dogs. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, shoot, it went all the way from the top. Okay, what is this now? Three hour, we should have taken my advice. Read that. Went on this. Went on that. Oopsie. Okay, he has been suspended for okay i read this i read that okay that's this it says tweet posted in 1 51 p.m february 1st 2022 but i have been sent i have been trying to find account for past week never seen it exist okay that is g-e-t-t-e-r i mean t-r what is that let's go into that uh thank you for explaining i think you have no reason to fake anything is as simple as that okay thanks i knew i was checking at the wrong place but never thought about g-e-t-t-o -T -T. Oh, okay well, as simple as that okay okay amazing thing about black women is that they are strong resilient and tenacious and my daughter is no different she too shall rise and while my daughter watches you discarded to the dustbin of history she will continue to rise and do things you can only dream of <laughs> okay you may write me down in history uh, with the bitter twisted lies <laughs> that's the Maya Angela saying that uh, I want to be quick I'm sorry I'm not gonna play this video uh, V V Sussex Squad podcast I think uh, has that video with uh, Megan on it honestly whoever is paying this guy should stop because he is a terrible at platform manipulation journalists are not corresponding with a guy that has been suspended on Twitter, Medium, and G-E-T-T-R within a month. His emails are either ignored or marked as spam. Okay, what is that? Royalty, when you make someone ruin your own reputation for every journalist to see and they email you saying you, uh, uh, you were right. Rose and Diamond, darling, but I'm awful glad I did. Okay, all right, so I'm going to leave this. I thought there would be more stuff. Okay. All right, so that's what's up with Buzzy. What is that? I have seen bitches with fewer shells than this guy. How many shell companies? Okay, I think that was the thing I was looking for. And I went, <laughs> I read every other tweet here. Let's hope this is the thread. Let's hope this is the thread. Oh, I think I shared that already. Or oh, did I? So this guy creates so many shell companies and he closed one and created another one uh i think i did read that <laughs> okay even once uh, all the information is published and proved the hater group won't believe it they instead will blame you chris for setting all this up i mean if they did it and um he could prove it that's all he has to do okay it's the game of which one is the nut under or in this case the cash under he thinks if he has many shells, people can find him or chase the money trail. He may know about trolling, but he has no idea how many times cash payment are tracked. Okay, a forensic account will have a field day with this, I'm sure. Uh, so, in other words, uh, he was able to find them. Okay, me over the 48 hours rookies. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, the black woman in my life. Okay, I had bookmarked this there's this okay mr evan mr weston maybe this one uh the name you go by why is the ceo of a company registered in cyprus i think that was the one i was looking for okay specializing on and so social media spending his day spreading disinformation and attacking people on social media networks just the tip of the iceberg so this is the thing he was able to find founder and ceo at, and he blacked the name here Cypress, a digital marketing company specializing in social media, online advertisement, advertising, content strategy, and search engine optimization for online brand personalities and entertainment prof professionals. All right, so this is the guy he found out, and he was able to find the name of the company and all of that. All right, a company and Cypress, lol. Let's go to the first one that I was in. 
Okay, now I'm paying attention because I'm only here for the part where we learn who is sponsoring the trolls of Meghan Markle. Yep, that's coming next. Coming next. Okay, it seems like this guy and his company and many others alike were hired specifically to spread lies and misinformation about Meghan online. Kate Williams, me, Sh Shula, MOS1, Janina. The question is why? Uh, the question is by who? Okay, keep going, Chris. This is the best takedown in history. I'm enjoying all of it. I'm telling you, they, they mess with Buzib. A simple, a simple tweet. And then they went after him and they didn't know what he does. Okay, Cyprus was a well-known tax haven until 2019. It was common for all shady people to register and invest in Cyprus. All right, that's that. Thank you for the screenshot, Christopher. Now we know the professional term for Pedro. Okay, who is the financier though, who is benefiting from Meghan Marco online trolling that can afford years and years of smear campaign. Okay, the royal family, the British tabloid and Middleton seem to benefit the most from the smear, just saying. Okay, a certain household refused to reveal diversity numbers. Uh, employee from the same household was unleashed and released from NDAs to assist a tabloid. A tabloid. <laughs> uh, guys, we're not too far from the answer here. Uh, she didn't mention any name, but we sort of have an idea. Shame he is not still in Sydney because the new, quote, troll, end quote, laws passes by the federal government are waiting to be ignited. We all need a poster boy. <laughs> Okay, so that's the second comment that I come across regarding this law that just passed in uh, Sydney, Australia. The royal palace is behind these people. Okay, holy shit, kick up feet. I'm ready for the great reveal. Okay, UK has very strong link to Cyprus and it still has troops there. <laughs> Passable military connection. Wow. Okay, makes you wonder about them fake ass balls. <laughs> I mean, people, the squad already knew their polls, the government poll in the UK was fake. Okay, I'm guessing this guy is 35 to 36, not 60, okay, not 63. Okay, CEO, <laughs> I like that GIF. Okay, this is awesome and probably 100% accurate. Those hate account should did their homework on Buzi. Well, he woke up. Yep, keep poking the sleeping bear and see what happened when he wake up. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Okay, company in Cyprus. Wow, just effing wow. Okay, we have pieced together everything. The smear campaign against me, the relentless attack on matter of fact. Okay, who's that? Amanda. Okay, so this person was, um, I think I spoke about it on one of my tweet videos where they call her company and they had her fired. And then after that, she had to do GoFundMe. And then later on, she close that account because she had reached her goal okay and even this uh was it third truth guy virtually coming out of nowhere i guarantee when this is all public people are going to prison save this tweet okay duke pentalamon not only had numerous companies under his new name but he also had numerous companies under his previous name why will someone create a bunch of companies change his name create more com companies and then spend all day in the internet attacking people okay he is not who he claimed to be and we handed a ton of evidence over to the uk authorities and this is where some of the squad were saying don't rely only on the uk uh do you know the FBI as well. Okay, Duke Pentalamon was spamming someone else bankruptcy papers and he filed for bankruptcy in 2020. He also found at least five dissolved companies within a short time span. You can't make this up. <laughs> Our petition to ban single purpose hate account has reached over 5,000. Okay, 5,000 signatures. If you haven't signed yet, please sign the petition. All right, so there's that. So I think I'm sort of up to date with Buzi Street. All right, so that's that. Uh, since I'm only 30 minutes, let's go to some other tweets that I bookmark I then share with you. So now we're going to, uh, maybe this will be a different video, All right, but I'm gonna continue.